Sensuality and femininity are two of the few important aspects of human life that help elevate the human mind from mundane to ethereal. Every good artist knows this very well. Art, especially art of painting, is a visual treat to engage our minds with sensuality that an artist feels and wants to convey to viewers. Sensuality is visual pleasure. Sensuality is close to refined lust or even raw lust but is far removed from ravenous lust. Why sensuality is closely associated with femininity? Can't masculinity be sensuous? Of course, masculinity can be sensuous. But strength and resilience is innate to masculinity and warmth and tenderness is innate to femininity. And our senses associate warmth and tenderness with sensuality. Hence, femininity dominates in art as far as sensuality is concerned. Artists know that our senses convey to us that warm colors make us feel sensuous, that warmth and tenderness are forms of sensuality. Hence, most artists, when they portray sensuality, they prefer femininity. Self-aware femininity with innate warmth and tenderness that is bound by shyness and adorned with coyness is the closest humans can feel to being sensuous. Sensuous art in the form of paintings may seem far removed from reality sometimes and other times may seem the only reality to aspire to get away from mundane life. Practical, prosaic, prudish minds might dismiss sensuality as frivolous, unnecessary luxury or needless self-indulgence or even hedonistic. It might be, it might be all of that but British minds fail to understand that sensuality is also a formation of life. It is vibrant and vital for any life to flourish. Without sensuality, life would be mundane, mechanical and utterly boring. Dictionary definition of sensuality is desire for sensual pleasures. Nature endowed humans with variety of senses for a reason. Yes, survival is primary and our senses help us survive. But after survival, there is only play and vagrant playfulness is the pure joy of life. Our senses provide us with such joy. Vagrant playfulness leads to relaxed senses and such relaxation in artistic minds leads to creativity. Once again, prudish minds might object to sensuality considering it to be only the realms of bodily senses. But such minds forget that body and mind are intertwined. If they think mind over matter, 
the reverse is also true that matter also affects the mind bodily sensuality does affect the mind in both good and not so good ways in not so good way it can lead to ravenous lust that only wants to consume and satiate itself but in a good way bodily sensuality can elevate the mind to the higher realms of aesthetics bodily sensuality for an unrefined uncouth mind can be tantamount to vulgarity and can lead to ravenous lust but for refined minds bodily sensuality and especially sensuous femininity can be an opportunity to aspire to higher realms of aesthetics pitiable are the unrefined mediocre minds that fail to distinguish between sensuality and vulgarity now it is up to the viewers how to take the presentation of such sensuous femininity that artists create such art is wide open for varied interpretations viewers interpretations form their understanding and their mindsets all these artworks might be in the realms of imagination but they cannot be far away from real world these artworks are how these refined artistic minds have interpreted the reality that they individually perceived <laughs>